Rasta Nagansta. Cheers. Samurai Eye on a reggae Monday with Kevin Kevo Badman. We are the morning vibes. It's 11 minutes after 7. Karibu sana kwa show. If you're just joining us, sasa tuku kwa the second hour of the show. Nata tunataka kwa ngale nini na hapi kwa magazeti. Mana we. I've got a copy of the Daily Nation. Kevin kwa na the standard. Mm-hmm. But if it's your birthday today, mm. ebu ni show so uh, we can make you feel good. Mana we. Mm, Mazuru nafa kujua na share birthday yako na Jordan Sancho. Sancho. He's 23 Tabola. years old. Yeah, bro. I love you here Aretha Franklin. Oh, yeah. The girl. The way mama wanga ni mba ya. Aretha Franklin. <laughs> so yeah man she died on the 16th of August 2018 Leo uh, 76 she was born in 1942 mm-hmm. I love to be the one and only Queen Africa Yeah yeah mm, Mama Francis Yo Morgan Mama Yo Yeah she was born in 1975 it Uma, was her birthday Mama Morgan ni mhat ni mhat ata Eh lazima tuchape ngoma zake leo ukaa mbili Post in by then me find out that Leo ni the the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and the trans- Transatlantic Slave Trade. Na wana fakuto yu jina kwanza trade, because that was not a trade. <laughs> yeah, for real? Yeah, you know, yeah. wangani noma sana uja nilishanga sana voke. Mm. Kwele shu ya sandi tukibonganga na stivo. Ati madha mungina nilishia kweyo show ati tukisema watu wakwa narushanga watu kwa oshe. Mm. Ati wafrika kwa narushanga kwa oshe mm. na wazungu. Ah. Ako wanaikiwa noma sana. Yeah. Juhu ya jipata na history kaa hiyo. Oh, ajai, what? Unagee, yeah. People actually don't know this history, yeah. Eh, watu wamezei, hiyo history wange imefichua sana manzina. Watu wafawo pigujuhu. Hiyo inafawifunisha kwa shule zetu. Or realize, no, my son, whomsoever does not like your father, will never love you. Yeah, manzina. Very powerful. Ni simple. So, unagee, unambo Kevin ati, 30% ya the cargo. Unusia saa cargo ni watu, tuwa kwa hituwa cargo. Yes, yes, yes. 30% ya transatlantic trade. Ndiyo trans ni juli kwa toka nga Africa to Caribbean, afu from Caribbean to America. That's right. Unanishika, saa kutoka hapo Caribbean to America, 30% wako wanafika. Mm. Wako wanenda wakirusho kwa oshe. Buda, imagine that, that's eh, a lot. Ta, uh, 30% <laughs> yeah. already ile kago hiko yeah. wanarusho wote kwa oshe. Saa shakis kwa zikuwa zikuwa manganga. Ah, Unanishika, yeah. afo jaidia, so yeah. ujaidia ni nini? Yeah. Kuwaweka uoga. Mm. kwa tu, ni fear wanaweka fear wale mta survive exactly. so mkifika kuli lazima mti yeah. bro slave wako wana live for only 9 years mm. wana wale kwa na feel ni, ni easy kuku au to work yeah. work zaidi eh udedi kuliko wakuweke simia kama mob because wakufi. you're gonna get old yeah. alafu wataanza kuku wewe unakuwa mziko kuchunga madawa yeah, ni kwa mziko utakuwa kwa mziko yeah. bro kev Okay, first of all, history na history history no ma I love you, Pia. The no other thing is that this is the week of solidarity with mm. the people struggling against racism and racial discrimination. Yeah, man. Iwiki lianza the 21st, mm. which was last week. Mm. Na itaisha the 27th of March. Mm. All right, so, another thing, bro. Mm. Before we get into the newspapers, it's yeah, 14 yeah. minutes after 7. Niliche kikitu ingine no ma sana. As in, uh, apparently, there's this narrative in America, Kev, yeah? And you, yeah. you've been in America for the longest time. Mm-hmm. Ati, African-Americans feel like Africans... Are well, jealous of them. Mm. Ah, say mm. that we hate them. Mm-hmm. To know now we are more educated than them. At yawa na konga tu ni all over the place. They don't even understand the history. Lili post your stuff on my IG. Mm-hmm. Na ika pata traction. Mm-hmm. This guy was going hard. Akasema. <laughs> I actually think this is the funniest thing ever. Mm-hmm. Akasema ti uh, African the African American culture is the most powerful culture in the world. Every other culture, every other race globally at he tried to act like african americans and i was like hmm <laughs> so you know I, I said okay fine let me not rush into conclusions <laughs> uh, but let's bring it back to nairobi mm, damn netizen damn one of the reasons why african americans yeah. to the like actually like black americans mm-hmm. i think it's actually true kev i think it's african the african american culture not the african one in itself ah my blacks one is state osana maka waitango makata Oh, my, oh yeah. Hey, don't go makata. Bro, whatever they have done with this culture conversation, it may spread like wildfire. Yep. Oh my guys not Jamaicans. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it's true. Yeah, no kweli. Si si hapa tu sio ni tu watu hapa muziki gani ungeishika watu sana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she can reggae alafu hip hop. Yeah. Unajua yeah, it's only black true, music. Even right? how we speak. Wana kwa wako wana control eh. Si utaka sana kukuwa wa say. Yeah. Unajua yeah. alafu mm. mimi kitu ngena ni bamba voke kabla nikamkuria lights. Mm. Rasta Farai. Una get waki kam Kenya mabobo shanti yeah, wa ama wa jifunga taban mm. wali walikuwa wamepatua ni order na prince emmanuel wakam uku africa walan culture za uku 
warudi nazo mta mm. wapelekewa tuna mta kama ingene na wajalu mm. ajunja rosa waja juu the, the african americans ambao ni be afros yeah. hawa kwa huko hawana culture mm. una get mm. so nikiwa na create something yao nikiwa watch kwa reggae na uzito sana ni yao yeah. it could that one kitu wana own mm. Una ge unlike us ambao tuko na culture zetu na tuzijui. Yeah. So alikuwa na kama walan, huko yeah. wa Jaka, wende kwa Waluja, hivyo hivyo wako wa Sapere, okay. alafu murudi mtaani, mfundishane ile kitu melan huko home, huko mm. Zion. Lakini kwa muku urasta ilitubamba. Tukwaka <laughs> sika kwa saa tena tumechukua ile yao because yeah. kwanza walikuwa wamekam shughuli ya job unashika. Yeah. Yeah. So si wanga sana, si tutekiwa sana. Na hivyo ndivyo bado religion ilichuchukua. All right, so sir, mm. so what a way to start the conversation. Right now, I try to uh, invite guests to it. Mm -hmm. Karibu sana, bro. Thank you, bro. Maybe you need to introduce, tell us what you do, what inspires you to do what you do, to angle gazeti, and then we can get right into the conversation. All right, thank you, thank you, bro. This is uh, Victor. Uh -huh. Victor is an IT specialist. Uh -huh. uh, Victor is a youth advisor. Victor is a lecturer also. So Victor is an RA. We call it an RA. In IT, we call it an RA. An RA. An RA. An RA. Yes, an oh, RA. Interesting. So it is an RA. Yeah. does a lot of things. He's a yeah. young person. Uh -huh. And also facing challenges every young person faces Man, every single it? day. Mm -hmm. Yes, like uh, you know how the state of the nation is today. So that is who Victor is. Good one, Victor. Yeah. So una, una, una kuanga lecture wapi? At Jaramogi University. Jaramogi University. Yes. Hey, nice one. Yes. Which o, campus? On a, on a part of the main campus. In main Bondo. campus. Yes. Ah, na, main copy? Bondo. Bondo. Yes. Hey, you guy. I'm so happy you are here, Victor. Kwa sababu of course, of course. Of course. Victor, let me... Mambo ya home. <laughs> no, I know you. Si, si, si. Eh? I want to talk but about you AUC. But okay. you still go up in You're crazy, bad man. So, Victor, karibu sana, bro. Asante. So, asa tuangeli. Ukona pepa? Ukona. So, yep. so uh, Kev, able to show mm. nini na happen kwa the standard? Yeah, kwa standard, unapa hivyo wame, wame ka join Boldman. If government owes you, it's time to strike. Wow. <laughs> it's time to jam. Yeah. Get out there and strike. Kaboom. Illegality. Uh -huh. Court says any Kenyan owe by the state can go ahead and auction public property or even attach the salary of a state officer who is impending payment. The auction item can range from a police car to a government bill. Really? I got page six your story. But okay, to to reason you took it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I can't say that. Of uh, well, you know, yeah. well, like, let's not to judge rights there too. But let me tell you one thing. Kenya is judge rights there too. Kevin, you do know, do you know who Kenyans are? Do you know who Kenyans are? Yeah. Once Kenyan you tell us we have a right to do ah. something, Victor. We will go and do it. We will go and do it. At a, at a county government. <laughs> do you know how long they'll take before they pay you your money? It depends. Uh, okay. It depends. Uh -huh. There are certain counties uh -huh. whereby you can actually get you, you can actually get your remuneration well, perfectly. Mm. You can actually be paid. Mm. But there are certain counties you will not be paid. And the reason being, most of these counties, what normally happens is uh, because they have so many recurrent expenditures, mm. so they do not give like a uh, uh, I'll, I'll pay ile, ile, like what priority. Really, I'll pay priority. So they look at salaries, they mm. look at uh, things that they feel are important to them. It depends on what job you're doing to them. Mm. If the job is that crucial that uh, you need to be paid ASAP, then you get, you're going to get paid. If they're giving a youth a job that you are supposed to supply pencils and the rest, you're going to get paid. Tissue paper. Because the kind of job they're going to give a youth or a young yeah. person, mm -hmm. see you have any that crucial that a young person is supposed to, any out of pay you priority. Mm. Mm. So what of pay jobs is that you supply with the gondogo, Kiberiti, tissue paper. But I'm going to tell you, with the amount of grafts to the Chikikoma counties mm -hmm. and how this 2010, uh, you know, constitution how it promised us, you know, the legit structures. Akuta kuwa na mamboya graft, nini nini. We're going to be guaranteed service, proper service delivery. You know, um, uh, what, what's really the problem with the counties? Kwa sababu tu maramomu tu umesikia hata watu wakisema, haa, never mazi. Haa, hii mamboya kufanya biyashara hata na kwalti minipatia stress. Kwanza hapo hivu kwa hiyo procurement department, I can't deal with these guys. What is wrong with counties? You know, kwanza lili wana cheki senator, uh, Nandi Senator Cherad Gay, he made some staggering revelations saying how uh, that uh, if a financial audit was done, 80% of governors would be headed to the jail. Is that truth in that statement? Perfectly true. We had a show the other day. 
uh, I think last month mm. and we were discussing why should, uh, should should we give governors an opportunity to come and uh, really uh, try to get back to lower positions like umetoka governor rudi back to a senator uh-huh. umetoka governor rudi back to an mp so there was that conversation we had it the other time in artisan tv i think last month and uh, most young people were like uh, they should be given an opportunity because uko pia mtu mwenye already ameenda kaloot mm. one or the other wana mpe opportunity rudi kwa mpini kwa na muambia and go and clear your mess feature and feature and you know these people have money you have mm. you control let's say like you control billions of money let's say someone gives you in a year you control like 7 billion kenyan shillings mm. i had a conversation with the governor who is a friend of mine is a former governor mm. and we had and i asked him why is it that uh, kwa nini kuna sida mob sana ama ni venye uwezuka 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 control hawa watu wakanambia you sit down in a cabinet it's your first time being in a cabinet you never headed anything you mm. never been a ceo so you don't know even to detect instincts of someone who can actually steal so now you're going to work with Oye. people extremely sharp mm-hmm. and you know you, a governor doesn't have to be that sharp yeah you just have to be a leader mm. now the ministers you work with these are sharp people these are ceos of mm-hmm. companies these are people who have had the different institutions mm-hmm. now where are your instincts you could detect so everybody thinks of stealing the next 1 million mm. every single day a county like uh, let me not mention but there's a county mm. ever, so people still like attacking to my cv people still a million mob a day a day ah, a day hello a, a me know what you that is <laughs> uh, a million look around bo- you kono peni auto vibes a million bo- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what are you a million bob a day wow. so that, that is how dangerous that is but then uh, the, uh, and i think for me you know ni kama ni because hakuna ile tunachagua we are not giving priority to technocrats and people can mm-hmm. edit it you never mm-hmm. been a ceo of anything mm-hmm. maze how do you control 7 billion even a ceo for for for, for a company like, like safaricom you can't just be anybody mm-hmm. even the slightest company you can't just be anybody yeah. ato kifungua ceo hapo hata vibes to as a company vibes mm. vibes to any lazimu juu game lazimu juu game Mm-hmm. Now imagine tunaenda kuchukua CEO because it's popular it's supposed to have vibes hata Le- control wewe na wewe ati au let me ask you this eh una check it is your local county speaker Mohamed Roba mm-hmm. alikuwa anasema ona ona some sort like it was a rally or something alikuwa na address uh, ma MCs huko mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, akasema remember. just till 20 or 30% and make sure 70% goes to projects mambo ya development he literally told them mm. it's okay for you <laughs> take like 30% and i have all the records here to say alleged only anyway, because mm. i'm a journalist let me just say alleged mm. but he actually clarified and he said mm. just till 20 or 30% <laughs> and make sure 70 goes 70% goes to projects so <laughs> when i look at this thing if i put it into context uni chali mwenyana ame ame asema ame asema it's almost hard to deal to do away almost, with corruption it's so hard to kwa hivyo iba kidogo ingine upeleke kwa development True. is he just keeping it real ama he shouldn't be saying things like that like those especially him being a leader mm-hmm. of that stature a speaker yeah ama tu hii kitu tusidanganyane hii watu wanaiba ni kitu tu iko watu wanaiba mm. but tusibe sana eh tusibe sana watu wanaiba tusibe sana uh, i was looking at a country like uae mm. and uh, these are uh, let's say the arabian countries na like, ukiangalizie okay, countries poor ni countries may develop in the last 10 years mm-hmm. probably Yeah. they got the biggest skyscrapers their system is working mm-hmm. wako na oil na umejua hiyo oil na imagine ke kwa africa said you got no one because they oil to iko tu iko tu kidogo those people Victor, do like uh, thousands and thousands of barrels in a day yeah. Yeah. na unaona it thousands of barrels what i could say my ngamia wana di five five fanyi kazi ama unatakuwa nisha nini au believe tuko na oil sisi tuko nayo but because there's a love for the country mm. see if you love your country hata kama utachukua kidogo utachukua ni heshima yeah, yeah, yeah. do you think the democracy in our quality for africans democracy is working for we have too many rights mm-hmm. <laughs> we have too many rights mm-hmm. so kweli which is a good thing which is a good thing mm-hmm. yeah unaweza ji express vile unataka unaweza sema vile unataka mm-hmm. but now when hiyo ku ji express unafanya leader hata kiiba always yenda like anakimbia kwa koti because ako na right mm-hmm. i have a right to be heard bado mja amja the any watu wana iba with the system mm. so, so is it really working really really for us some of the african kids ki wa arabu tu tu chukwe na kangaroo court zetu huko ama what do you think for me for me i think like uh, 
we should like you sh- first you should love your country hmm. that is number one ni kama unaona ukiingia kwa nyumba yako upatai kata ni mazime kapa siku kama kama two months hii kata unaiona unakasirika hmm. ikitu ni chafu hmm. hii mati imekapa iko na matopi ni chafu the same way as a country ukiingia ukiona country yako unaona inaende inaendeshwa vibaya hmm. na unaipenda kusimu kweli hmm. you can actually point out no say me i don't like the way things are happening i think the president try to do that in, in, in immediately came in mm. mike songo try to do that immediately alikuja nairobi mm. at the end of the day vitu zuko za tu zina zina line eh zina jo line you know na so All i think right. the love for your country is quite important i like you should that. love your country uh, so, so let's yeah. keep it moving guys uh, i love to to go see mambo zingine kev what's the other story i have been answering him in fresh and i mean i need support sana yes yes because i've been thinking manze mm-hmm. for a long time ime kwa ni kizungumkuti mm-hmm. uh, welfare mm-hmm. stay to close children's home and reunite families mm. So what's the reason? A uh, strategy move to shut down the homes is informed by research that indicate the institution do more harm to the children mm. and the child with many turning out worse than their age mates. Oh wow. wow. <laughs> okay. Bro, ni watu wangapi tunajua washaenda jela wakitoka wanakuwa wabaya zaidi kushinda vile walio. Lakini ile si jela. Si jela. Si la home. Bro, she is a home. Yeah. Bro, kwani uko na home? Fulani hapo hivi wanapiga washosho. Yeah, Wanawapiga. Yeah. Ati mshushu anona hivi mm. anakimbia bro hadi anajikojolea baba yo. Yeah mimi nimesikia pia instances zenye mtu huyo anachukuliwa mazana na Tesla places zingine. Hey, you know, especially all these private homes. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Ati uh, for 5000 there there are more than 45000 vulnerable and often child, children in mm. the government intend to remove from more than 850 children homes mm. and reunite them with their families and communities mm. as in like in short when i just already when you are to wengi pia wana kwanga na family because they came from somewhere they came from somewhere eh kwa hapo somewhere ndo tunaanza kuchunguzana ni wapi mimi na support sana hivyo okay na the same time pia ni kwa nataka kusema je unaona hii mambo ya kusaidia anga watu hii gratitude i think in the one part bad or deadly sana wa wa wa, wa, wa Kenya wale wanajiweza. Mm. Kuna wengi sana wanajiweza voki. Yeah. Kama kuna mtu anaiba 1 million a day. Yeah. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. Can... <laughs> Surely. Yeah. And it's kwa mtu mmoja adapt mtu. Eh, yeah, like mm. let me tell you one thing I've realized about Africans, mm. especially wa Kenya. Mm. We're very slow to adopt children out there, man. Atupende. Tunanga. Kwa sababu anga tia utaleta hapa hivi must do energy zingine sana. Tabia zingine kama busambi hivi. Tuna chukua tabia za ule mzee amepata kwa ile hao. Ah, let's switch some gears to ndaraka raka wa msingi on the daily nation the same reveals school that no one wants millions of shillings are going down the drain as parents and learners shun some public primary and secondary schools as well as universities in sharp contrast to the uh, over enrollment and congestion associated with most public institutions of learning mm. the situation is so bad mm. that some of these schools are now facing imminent closure mm-hmm. it's on page 6 and 7 and then i'm seeing teachers cry, cry foul over research promotions uh, they're also talking about state's big plan for rilas auc job bid the government is developing a fully fledged campaign secretariat and a budget to support as the new leader Raila Odinga's bid uh, for the chairmanship Eish. of the Africa Union Commission. <laughs> Let me ask you something Victor before you take a short break. <laughs> yes. You can give me a quick comment. Nilikuwa naona the chief cabinet secretary Muda Muda DVD. Alikuwa na message guys guys please politicians. Wacha ni kuchoma. Mnaongea sana huko hivi kwa marali. You guys are going to mess up this campaign. Just keep quiet for now. We have a strategy. We have to get we have to get baba to the AUC. You know the people who last week to look up even as Stephen Bogo. Mm-hmm. Stephen Bogo actually said he will give Raila Amolo Odinga 10 million. 10 million. I, yes, I remember I remember something like that. Yeah. I, I wish you of Baba getting this thing like also gave one of Kiriati kitu itakuwa atapata kitu unopost because we also saw Som- Somalia planning mm-hmm. to field somebody uh, kwa hiyo position ya AUC. What are the chances real quick of Baba getting this thing as, as days progress? What's ba- your assessment? Baba may might get it, mm-hmm. but if you see if these minorities I call the minorities like Somalia if they feel a candidate they may have a bigger chance of being there because it's the first time ah. it has never happened ah. remember we already a democracy we already doing good as much as we're looking for a leader we also <sighs> looking to unite africa mm. but how are we going to unite africa sina dana baba baba being god for sina dana baba i sina baba fikiri ni sina dana baba the same thing that happens today if you from nairobi uh-huh. you're privileged than someone who come from ajir wow. if you go to a job but if you you are willing can after a job especially is my is my government organ yeah. ataka maja soma mm. ata pa priority because you're trying to do something different you're trying to 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 make sure that even the population around there will realize that it can happen like 
Damn, damn. So damn, Baba, has an, Baba has an opportunity, but if they feel a candidate from those what I call, man, I don't want to call the minorities, but they are. Yeah, if they, they feel are. a candidate, it's going to be tough for Baba because it can be. It, we have or tough love. We have we got tough love for Baba. But, but, but I think only change, hmm? only change. So I say, my East African don't want to move now. But so far, I na I na. But so far, I'm on a Baba who na kagamo me, who me please. Baba has so Somalia alone. Mm? So Somalia also tunaweza move tuna tuwa huko tu tuambie eh, tuliani tunao eh, tunaweza boga nao baba hako na opportunity kubwa sana yeah. unless kuna tu interest ile tu sisi ndani yeah. tunaisema lakini hatutaki mm. ama ama ama, ama sisi, do you think za kwa ni strategy victor kama ile kuna watu wengi feeling ipi ile time nyingine baba alikuwa amemonesha already wako na state man nini mm. wako na the state equipment mm. iki kitu tunachukua baba alafu kidogo machinery sio kuliendelaje wanaweza kuna cha kaka hiyo baba upande ya AUC hakuna i think hakuna yeah. I think, uh, do, you, do you trust the government? I trust the government. For the first time, let me let me tell you something. Hey, let me I do tell you. <laughs> for the first time, Briefly, yeah. yeah. For the first time, yeah. I trust President William Ruto. Uh, the way I've seen him move <laughs> to uh, deliver, <laughs> to deliver. <laughs> the way I've seen President Ruto move yeah, and, yeah. and, and try to to get this thing to mm-hmm. us yeah. is also a chance for him. Now the Mwenyane is a loser for Baba big time because if Baba loses, Ruto wins, and if Baba wins, Ruto wins. Yeah. So Ruto has a few. As a a win, win. win win situation mm. if baba loses unajua tu the, the chair guy will go out and say oh <laughs> 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 So, so Victor, hold it right there. That is Victor Diambo. He's a governance expert as well as an IT expert. He's a youth leader uh, from uh, Jaramogi Gingondiga University. He's a lecturer. Uh, we'll talk about him uh, and your housing levy and uh, many other things as well. We'll talk about Pia uh, Manenoya. Central Kenya politics has to feature in our conversation somehow. All right, it's uh, what time? 33, 7.33 right about now. Kumbuka tuko live on Facebook at Vibes Radio KE na pia kwa www.vibesradio.co.ke plus on channel 172 that is KTN BTV on Star Times. Tuendekasi, good morning. This is the Modern Vibes on Vibes Radio. Bob Marlin, the Whalers on 104.5 I'm Jadu, Kevin Kevo, Badman We are the Morning Vibes and we are so excited Because we're hanging out with our brother uh, Victor Diambo, he's from uh, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga University, he's a lecturer over there Plus a gov- he's also a governance Expert and an IT Expert, I like that man Ah, sasa, to learn a live vibe Tukukwa MVP report by the way my guys In a bit tutafungwa phone lines Lakini, Victor Yes, I'm reading over here Something interesting, now the ongoing Doctor strike is set to continue this coming week with the uh, medics uh, are y- with the medics who are yet to strike a deal with the government on a return to work formula. Speaking on Sunday Nakuru, the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union, KMPDU, Secretary General uh, Dr. Da- Dajvi, Davji Atela. <laughs> Alisa, the strike will continue as the government has not shown any commitment to meeting their demands. Yeah, I love to uh, doctors, The doctors accused, accused Health Cabinet Secretary Susan Nakumisha of solving the, the strike issue uh, on political rallies mm. instead of working to end it. So what's really ailing our healthcare system? Mm. Ukiona vile, uh, Madam Siesa likuwa na mwonga kwa rally flying, like some house, juika tells, ju nini, nini. And then now we have the, the officials of the KMPDU. Mm. What is wrong with with this whole menace? Because damn, what do we now ramba kwa hospitali? Sana, sana, sana. And at what Dubai. point will the government just give in to the demands? The Surely. government, the government might not give in to the demands, because you can amtu anda kuarali anasema and any job amatu afute tu afute adi. The other day walikuwa kuwa nongelea tu kona like one into seventeen thousand. Do you know what one to seventeen thousand means? Manzi. Like a doctor to seventeen thousand. That's like even Uganda is one. Uganda is just one to one thousand. Mm. US mm. is one to three hundred and eighty four. To nongele one to almost seventeen thousand. Jesus. Ato ane tapsa kidogo sana. Ban. Like forty seven thousand. Mtu ni sha 47000 na falipwe. Why can't you just pay this? Sakaja was saying that the day to more up to Monday. Mm. Tunafuta. <laughs> Unafuta aje watu wenye kwa 140000. Like simu simuandike wase wengine wa kwetu wanangoja. Mm. Uwezi enda na kifua, enda na kifua as who? And they, I mean these, these are people as much as mume mume ni ni mume invest on these people mm. atawa kona rights. Kuna mtu alikuwa anasema the government is not empathetic. The government almost it's almost as if unajua see all my interns for example. Yeah. 
these are people who got A's and C's A's and B's. What are they saying? What are they saying? What are they You know, they want to add value. Mm. Most Kenyans... You know, they want to add value. You know, they want to add value. You know, they want to add Most Kenyan homes, there's always somebody who has like cancer, a massage. So Kenyans yeah. are literally one disease away from poverty. Mm. Why isn't the government taking this conversation seriously? Yes. Bro? And Bona wataki ku dialogue. Our, our, our easy dialogue because our pay health that much priority it needs because it does not affect them directly. Really? They don't go to those hospitals. Nah. To Kiongelele, a private yeah. hospital in Kenyatta, mm. is supposed to be private because of emergencies. It's not supposed to be private because you pay more. Mm. Ato yo unafau pele uke private wing mm. because emergencies me kulid pale. Mm-hmm. Daktari tunongelea, tuna, tu, we, we are abusing doctors, we are saying that doctors are only spend, spending like an hour. Doctors are supposed to work on call. Mm. They are supposed to work 40 hours a week. Uja maki ya muaku work pale 3 days, ame maliza wiki zake zote, ame maliza siku zake za job. Mm. They are supposed to work on call. They are not supposed to be just there seated. Mm. That's where the infrastructure is. I will allow kukua pale. Infrastructure mm. is a big deal. Mm. So there are so many things that we need to work on as a government. Mm. We need to work on as a people mm. to make sure that our doctors are safe there. Mm. But alternatively, doctors are supposed to work on a call. Tusi warushia mkono tuseme ati njimu nandango kwa mbo hospitalizenyu. Amkangi hata hata hape viku kwa nini kwa mbo kwa hii kwa hii osi yetu. Mena hatu kushinda huko. They work on call. Exactly. Yes. All right, let's switch some gears. Tuliko na tuko na mazema gears wamekuwa kiheko sana the president, especially mm. from his backyard. Mm. Kericho, Sijiu, Wapi, Bomet. Eh, uh, lakini many times unasikia ah those are just paid hecklers. Mm. Sijiu oh, yeah. they're not really heckling the president. Wako tu sana president, but si governor. Mm. Atuna kumpeka leta mali komenda meru. Mm. So my question is, what are your thoughts about ile directive ya CSW interior? Eh, mm. uh, anaitwa uh, Nani Kindiki? When he called for the arrests of the financiers, organizers, and the hecklers themselves, you need strategy to work with. I will see. I will work with it. Yeah. Kuna kuna time ato governor, ato ma governor no alipo ato ma hecklers because because we may disagree within themselves. So the president need to get the attention. President okay. to get the attention. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So the president at to chini so to sembe malisida iko u jamaa me nidara u jamaa ne nongele sambaya so they themselves pay people to go and do that it's not an ODM zone this is only ODM this one is strong all the preso this one is strong all the preso au jamaa ndo analipana so it's you kitu you know is a same at the to we can wish away it will always happen at uko central look you know strong strong all the president au wenyewe wanalipana because we may disagree with them say and they need to sit down and probably i'll pay you i'll pay you chance you to sit down because kuna mtu mwenye anaongea na preso directly usiende atwezi atwezi negotiate na ujamaa haje viki na hiyo ingine pia angulio watu nasema inaweza kuwa ni wa Kenya ukweli ya wa Kenya ukweli wamekasirika na juwezi heckle president direct wana heckle u governor but idea yao kubwa si governor wana heckle ni prezo wanataka president a realize wewe umekuwa ukituambia tunajaribu kuambia hii kitu ya mambo ya nyumba mambo siku tu si priority kwa saa hii si tu hell tunataka chakula au suski sasa hao pia wanataka kumuonesha atasi atukuski but lakini wanaitumia ni governor ama senator ndio wanapiga what do you think inaweza kuwa ni ukweli ni wa Kenya pia wamechoka wa Kenya pia wamechoka punde ni choka punde ni choka how many times unapigwa na best okay buda ntumia tachuani ni kubaya ni kubaya alafu yani una mtu huyu ni mtu mwenye ukimwambia ngantumie chuani baka na buda sina yeni ba kuna kitu bana mimi ni mbaya prison afaku anafaku kwa worried akicheki ma hustlers wana heko livo way worried the president should be way worried because you can touch with the reality on the ground ama ama prison abi ata ata pigile ngoma ya culture why worry about them when you can pray them <laughs> and you can pray for them na penda be there bro you know i was gonna yo let me ask you something victor mm. speaking of praying mm. Tulicheki the first lady Madam Rachel Ruto mm. Mama Rachel Ruto mm-hmm. Alikuwa na somehow you know before our guys go to Haiti yeah, paka yeah. nikisema damn so actually we are going eh <laughs> na America na kila mtu America wase watu wanakata kuenda yeah. even I after did. that guy who said mm. Kenya maze mm. you know there's a yeah, that boy yeah. the former something to the uh, anyway let me look, let me let me not guess his title mm-hmm. but alikuwa na sema mm. This thing is just a scheme for guys getting the money. The Kenyan government getting the money, mm. swindling money. At the same time back to Mama Rachel Ruto, mm. I was like she's going to pray her mm. and a bunch of pastors from America and Haiti. Mm-hmm. Waende waombe wa masoja ma, ma, mm. makara wetu wakienda huko. Bra man, yani is she losing the plot big time. Eh kuna zile vitu ziko beyond maombi. Wallahi, watelewaje sasa? Nikaa huko bia mchawi. Manze ni ni noma. 
Eh, Tukiendoku you know. unaona nini ki happen? Manze, yani like uh, kuna kauoga fulani uh, according to Kenya iko kwa hiyo ground. Unajua pia mnaangalia reality yeah. like uh, kuna kuisema na kuna reality. Reality ni ni kubaya uko down. Mm. And I, I don't think as, as much as the soldiers huko chini. Remember to uh, at times tuna trainee wana also jaw states kuna nyuki wapi wapi wako huko wana yeah. train ina yeah. soil and they also train our soldiers au wenyewe wamepa si tunaenda kudonia nini huko na una who to train so all right sasa 071 kina turamba in short kita turamba big time uh, na tutalia za nation but a prayer chance tutalia <laughs> tunaenda kulia alafu uh, yeah. imagine yeah. imagine yeah. it's yeah. really sad yeah. to tunalia watu wako chini Yeah, imagine afadhali afadhali tuombe tu kama tuko si wote tuko sawa. Mm. Unaona? Tu tusilie kama watu wako chini. Uchali mazi nimesahau jina yake mtu mm. mgalikuwa na bonga alikuwa anasema how is it that 20,000 soldiers wameenda ku try ku stabilize Haiti and they've all failed. Close to 20,000 forces mm. out there. E 1,000 ya Kenya. Mm. Yaani si ni wanoma aje. Mimi tunaenda na nini plus maombi. Tuna ma. Tuko garden. Tuko na gun na kuna shoot hizi jo. Stay crazy hapa. Zileza na hizi zile mapigwa. 0719012700. They can talk to three Kenyans out there maze. But eh uno na nini na hapa ilikuwa grow my guys. What's your story maze? Give us a call right now. 0719012700. Ras easy. Good morning. Oi, ay, umsa me bounce. Oi, vibe shade good morning. Hello hello good morning. Karibu sana bro. Tunaongea na nani? Unaongea na Loki ya mlango. Loki. Loki karibu sana manze. Haya, report yako ni gani mazema? Unataka uko na comment ama swali yote? Ah, uh, tu ni kusema tu wasitume tu polisi Haiti. Hao na... watu wasitume. Lakini si first lady amesema anaenda kuwaombea. Kwa hivyo tutakuwa sawa labda. Maobi si kitu. Maobi haitasaidia. Risasi na maobi si the same. Manze jo. Kwa hivyo unaita turamba. Eh. Yeah. Damn, damn, mazi. Haya. Otherwise ground iko sawa. Eh? Eh, sawa iko sawa. Salimia sawa wili. Haya, nataka kupita tu na watu wote wa Moiga. Mhm. Wenye wako locked. Yes. Na kila mtu mwenye wako locked saa hizi. Sasa, big up Moiga in the building. Uni lock ya mlango. Let's talk to Twende Thika. Munyiri. Yes, yes. Karibu sana, bro. Yaje yaje. Tuko salama hapa hivi niko na Kevo Badman na ndugu yetu anaitwa Victor Diambo from Jaramogi Ginggo Dinga University. He's a governance expert. Umesikia vibe yetu? Talk to us. Wapatie pano zangu. <laughs> Wame receive. <laughs> Tumepokea. Wewe ni mwenye wewe ni mwenye wa waya. Ehe. Uh-huh. Talk to us. Ehe. Uh-huh. Unajua kupeleka watu kupeleka maofisa yetu huko Haiti. Mm. Naona sasa kuchimbia mtu akiwa hai kaburi. Mm ninaona kama ni kuwafanyia hiyo. Alafu yes. Hebu ya kimajini ukiambia mwili atavuta mizi. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Serious. Sasa mwambie mwili, unajua mwenyewe ni mwili. Kai eh. Ya alafu mwambie mwenyewe enda unitafutia mwili. Eh. Itawezekana. Kweli anaweza patikana kweli. Unaona itakuwa tu wanene kwa ribu huko. Hiyo ni kama ni kama hivyo sasa unasema ati watu wani wako kwa gavana waangalie au uwezekane uwezekane hiyo. Kwa hivyo unataka kuniambia hii maneno yani yani tunapeleka wezi huko. Hiyo hiyo hiyo. Anyway but unaona aje hii maombi ya maombi ya fast. Mimi nasema. Mimi nasema. Mimi nasema. Yaani kupeleka au maofisa huko mm. kama kuachibia kaburi. Arabu hii nyingine inasemekana ati wewe ukiwa kwa gavana unaweza angalizua ati kama umeimba ama umefanya nini. Mm. Hiyo ni kama kusema wewe mwizi nitafutie mwizi. Wow, haya. Asante sana Munyiri big up on yourself. Eh, Alvo. Uza. Karibu sana Alvo maze. Talk to us. Uko na swali gani ama comment? Vibe yako ni gani? Eh, ni hiyo story ya masanzu ya hiki bana. Badman, ah yeye huwezi. Mm. Mbona haiwezi alivyo na tunaombewa? Haya, kwa maombi ni kitu kingine na maombi maombi ni kitu kingine ndio. Lakini mbona wa Kenya mna imani na hizi maombi shwali? Ah, unajua hata maombi hata makanisa ni mtoto kama bad man. Yes to the believer, tunaona? Kweli. Eh, makanisa ni mtoto kama so tuna maombi na masaje kuenda Haiti hapana, watu wanataka kuulia huko. Wow. Na na acha nikuulize yeah. kitu Alvo ukicheki maze ma military yeah. zingine wana pull out state wamesema wapeleki watu Canada wapeleki watu 
Unadhani nini ba, yeah. nini na inspire? Nini nafanya praise wetu anapeleka ma guys wetu huko? Yaani nini hii ni hiki tu wenye hao sio watatusaidia nayo? What's what's the problem? Or put it in the gun huko. Azini matana mimi sielewi juu hata huyu president kama ana huko. Unapeleka watu kwa kifo man. Ah. Eh. Eh. Haya sasa manze 0719012700 Zakayo. Eh, oh, kafa matara. Karibu sana Zakayo. Talk to us. Report yako ni gani? Hai bana report yangu manze ni kama kupeleka unajua ni kama upeleke fisi, upeleke fisi nyama za mimi. Mm. Unajua kupeleka pana mkenya huko Haiti na America yenyewe imeshindikana kupenani iko karibu na Haiti. Imagine. Sasa una unatoa mkenya huko bana anaenda kuvia pili hali Kongo hapa kimeshindwa hapa Sudan tumeshindwa kwa kweli. Tumeshindwa hapa Samburu we, 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 we si tu wa ngombe tumeshindwa. Utapeleka utapeleka vijana wetu waenda wakufi hata kweli maombi kweli tunasema tunamuomba Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm. Mungu atatuhemu na mimi kweli. Ni sad sana. Ni kama, una, unafikiria serikali imetu fail kabisa kwa hiyo kitu wa kupeleka watu huko. Kabisa ni kama ni kama yeah. uambie sisi chika nyama kisha ukadishi sisi naeka nyama kwa mtomo uito. Mm. Ni sasa. Tunapeleka vijana wetu wakufe bure, tuwalet mm. tuwasike tuwa bure. Na uko na message gani kama labda state house ina kusikiliza sasa hivi? What can you tell state house? So mimi mimi niko message yangu iko hapa. Nawaambia tu wa Kenya jameni tukae kwa nji yetu. Na kama presa anatuma huko anatutuma atume machenesa na machenesa huko tuletwe wow. kama wanakifu hakuna kitu kingine yu inji kama wenyewe wamesema wakae na amani kama mtu yote hata ingilia watakaa na amani lakini kama mtu yote hata ingilia vita ni vita ke haya asante sana zakayo 0719012700 baba viki hello baba viki karibu sana baba viki Na Niko tu salama sana hapa hivi na Kevo Badman na tuko na ndugu yetu kutoka Jaramogi Oginga Odinga University Victor Odhiambo. Hey, Report yako ni gani baba Viki? Yesho kama kwa hiyo jarara. Ni kwa area baba hiyo. Uko na uko na kama uko na boycott. Ba hapana baba hiyo. Ma mashida shida za mwili manze bro. Eh pot pot ita bro. Ni ko fit sai ni ko fit. Sasa sasa. Yes baba Viki. Na ningetaka na kuvicha ziki pia kwanza ni kwambia rasai matitaki kurara kwa makaburi. Mm. So health is a priority. Hiyo mambo ya housing is still as my priority. Wacha health is a priority. Mm. Unasema wa sort out madaktari. Housing tutafikiria uko mbele. Yeah. Sort a priority. Yeah. Wa sort out madaktari. Alafu hii story ya kidiki. Mm. Eh manze kidiki atuachishe za ovyo. <laughs> Amesema heklas lazima washikwe. Mwezi disrespect hivyo rais. Yeye ni disrespectful. Aa. Uh -uh. Unajua unajua ukipata uki nikifanya hackering. Mm. Si lazima nikuwe ati niko hurigan. Okay. Ya lazima rabda kuna ile message ninataka kupass. Na nikifanya cheering bado kuna ile message ninapass. Nina yes. Eh. So kwa meeting lazima kukuwa ita hackering ama cheering. Mm. Na unadhani hiyo vile watu wameheko lapo is the actual reflection ya ground ama ni watu walilipwa? Si lazima ikuwe imeripona. Nikienda kwa ile meeting unapata kidiki anasema nikienda kwa ile meeting si lazima si asima niende, si ndio? Kweli. Ile rais anatarajia pale tende. Mm. Labda ile vibe amenipea ndio sijashikanisha randa zake jarime. True ndio maana nime hackering ndio apate kujua hiyo si si vile ilikuwa ifai mmm unaona so labda kuna ile message nilikuwa nataka pia ipite kweli unapata otanda eh na kusikiliza fiti kama uh -huh. sana ah sikujama otanda na nisho kama sikie vizuri ah niko fiti niko fiti asante <laughs> sana baba viki <laughs> stay Respect. blessed we have to talk to oti kama kawaida kwanza when it comes to matters politics mmm Oti good morning. Yes. Good morning Wazito. I'm Jambo. Tuko salama sana Oti hapa hivi tuko na uh, our brother Victor Odhiambo from Jaramogi Kingo Dinga University umesikia vibe yake. We can't really kwa refu hey, tuko na mingi sana. What, what what's going on Oti? Sasa kwanza wacha niongee kwanza jambo la haiti kwanza. Mhm. Mm kwanza ningeomba rezo kwanza na first lady watangulie kule kwanza wapige maombi kwa haiti kabisa wasafishe uwanja kwanza. Wasafishe. Eh wasafishe uwanja. Sio mwambie hiki kwa nini mboka bwana ile kula kuna kitu wanaenda kufai mazee hii kitu wanapeleka wajambo zetu wakaenda wakamara kule bure bure wangewacha na vijana mazee wapige kazi hapa juu hapa kenya pia kuna insecurity sana subacheki kweli kabisa 
kwanza wapeleka polisi tu wanaoza ni wanatosha wengine wangepeleka kule Baringo at least wasaidie kula ile sehemu za Saburu huko unacheki mhm eh bwana lakini haiti madhee mimi kwangu wani no 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 alafu oh my goodness i'm so sorry you know what calls ni mingi sana i have to talk to the peace guys sheriff yeah, fiti sana sheriff leo uko wapi ngotala Ah mm-hmm. smart sana sheriff hapa hivi niko na Kevo Badman na mgeni wetu Victor Diambo. Ripoti yako ni gani? Reaction, comment, swali? Ala zamaje. Mm. Ururudon kama anataka kupima jeshi ya Kenya. <laughs> hata si jeshi, ni makarao. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> ni police, si hata jeshi, si KDF. <laughs> Watafagiliwa tu siku ya kwanza huko wakienda huko. Lakini si tunaenda umesikia wanaenda kuwaombea. Eh hey, maombi tena. Eh? Yeah. Maombi kwa vita. Maombi hizi simamisha risasi kwanza. Wa, mbona lakini mbona mna imani? Eh hey, hiyo imani hakuna. Hey, kwanza ni... wamalize kwanza wamalize mabadi huko Kenya. Ah. Uh-huh. Kwa kwanza waende huko. Kwa hivyo unaona tukienda huko ah itakuwa mbaya. Tute, it, we will fail. Tuta fail kabisa. Itatuharibikia. Tuta fail. Tuta fail. Aya eh aya sasa sheriff asante sana. Sasa tulisema prison yetu anaweza mm. na tukamweka hapo. Eh. Na kama prison anaona hiki tu kinawezekana tunafa tu hiyo nani macho yake. Tunafa kukuwa na faith. Yes. <laughs> Kenya zone of time for your faith wewe. Si <laughs> 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 unataka reality. <laughs> Let me talk to a little ranger to go. Good morning bro. Good morning, good morning watunguya. Tuko salama sana Kevo Badman and Victor Diambo in the building. Eh. Victor go take hapo. Ah uh, thanks thanks ni aje bro uko fiti? Min kofiti asante so bin kwanta ku react kwa mambo makara hata siongelee story na haiti unaona hata madaktari utagusia ah zizi ni tu kuna scene fulani ile happen hapa friday friday morning okay nilikuwa tu pale imara pale kwa mall unaona mm. so kuna karao fulani wa blue boys kutoka hiyo hiyo kwa chief pale kwa send bakita unajua pale send bakita kuna chief yeah. kuna nini ya chief hapo yeah. so kuna makarao ameletwa hapo but Ukarawa alikaa mtu pale stage akachukua boy wangu pale man unaona akabeba tu hivyo akamchukua si ati ati boy alikuwa ame tunaelewa ile beef ya makarao na makamagera unaona mm. but mimi ile kitu ilinibon ile design alikuwa na harasu boy unaona juu ubo anamuuliza ni makosa gani alafu huu karawa nataka kushautaje ati una, unataka kunitania watu wanipiga unaona sasa ile design karawa na react hey, unaona yeah, yeah. boy amemuuliza tu kivizuri boy amemuuliza tu vizuri ni makosa gani na imagine niko tu hapo ni makosa gani nimefanya mm. so ati hapana u boy tunajua mimi u nyinyi mliona mfanyaje so mimi legs nilifanya mm. kulikuwa na makara wengine hapa wa wa makara wa traffic unaona mm-hmm tunapata maboyo wanachukua anga so hii ile kitu nilifanya nilipigia maboyo wangu mtaa unaona mm. juku tunakuanga na group lazima kitu kama hiyo iki happen obvious hata mimi solo hakuna venye ju already karao alikuwa ashapigia makarao simu unaona mm. wale wa wachifu wakakaa unaona so ile design karao alikuwa ana ana, 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 ana try kusema aje ati unanishautia ndio wanipige unaona ni mm. kama sasa alikuwa anataka kututoa kwa hiyo scene tusiingilie kwa hiyo ngori unaona mm tulifuatilia mpaka huyo boy akuweka kwa OB unaona alipelekwa street na akwe akuandikwa kwa OB boy amekaa kwa stand kutoka saa mbili mpaka saa kumi anaambiwa kama utoi eh kama utoi do atukutoi unaona Wacha, boy jokes. finally eh. boy alitolewa na donga ngapi dhao mbili na eh. mia mbili hiyo ah. ni after shaa ambia ah. makarao sina do unaona mm. so ile sintumi na try kuambia makarao itafika mahali kutakuwa vita ya makarao na, na raia mm. na tutaki man Mazee. Eshi mtu mraia kama mtu yuko na makosa, msikize, msikize bana. Sasa, hey. sasa. Makarao jo wakuwe civilian mm. na wakuwe tu na ustaarabu, unaona? Sasa. Pole sana, pole sana Mazelu. Mm. Wow. It's crazy out here, Kevin. All right, tukirudi we're going to wrap up the conversation with our brother Victor Diambo from Jaramogi Ginga Dinga University. He's a governance expert as well as a youth leader and an IT expert. Pia itabidi tumejiamini. Mm. Yeah, sports person ataka tujiamini. Ah wako na forms zingine zinaweza kukujenga sana especially if you young out there when you chali sports ni nini mm. this is your, your opportunity to take your life to the next level mimi natambua tawashoma ma za tujiamini kev tangu afike kwa moranga silo fanya mamambo ni mlianza na moto sahi tatumia vile nafaa tuliyo do vile nafaa mchikile goro sahi wameshikilia hapo juu
Sport Pesa. Aya, sasa. Do the kazi, sambili kamili. Good morning. Keep it locked and don't move, eh? Rebels and reggae heads, start your day the MVP way. Where you are the MVP. No negative vibes. Aya, 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 Original Mazeba Mali. Yeah, man. Mm. False friends. Just, just when I thought a good friend I found. Yeah. Yeah, Manzuna Panikumbe Nika illusion. Mm. Mm. When, you are, when you're having good time, when you have a lot, then your friends are plenty. But in time of trouble, <laughs> not one out of 20. Out of 20. Not one out of 20. Hey, where you know Kosa Pesa? Kosa Pesa. Kwanza in Nairobi. Ujue tabia bibi yako. Wacha tayari mtu mwingine. Hata bibi yako. Ai, kebo. By the way, by the way, you are right. Kanairo. It's very it's no no ni hard. Hadi 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 mnashona madem siku hizo kuna tunjaro tungeni ile shimba. Kwa nini mna huruma? Ati ati mdio wa top. Eh hadi dio wa top. Ati mapenzi ni Ulaya. Yeah. Eh Nairo ni biashara. Seriously. Na si tu queen love. Let me tell you as a man eh. Wewe jua kwa hii game uko solo. Eh mzee jo na ndivyo kila sababu hapa tu. Don't be at even your children at eh, some point come out una kakitu you know you don't know eh hey, hey, kosa kosa when the queen you mazena one respond nya kitritwa better you know i've seen a guy bana bro <laughs> <laughs> i've seen a guy having to start a fresh at, at close to 60 years his first family wali mwacha that's when a cheki jamaa kuna 5 year old baby over there and a young wife na mlezo uchaliwe bro what happened so you know what bro president ame ame strike mm. ame toka mm. sai sai deputy anapishwa mm. mm. very fast mm. president akirudi anapata kitisha kaliyo so ni tuongele mm. <laughs> all right guys <laughs> tukona victor diambo is a lecturer from uh, jaramogi gingo diga university he's also a governance expert and uh, it specialist mm. tunaenda tunaenda ku rapa pi conversation in state of the nation in just a bit remember to na uh, Tuko live by the Facebook app we've at Vibe Radio KE na pia on uh, channel 172 mm. that is Burudani TV on Star Times. Yeah man kama kawaida mzee ukiwa kwa frequency zetu ukiwa kwa ma3 eh, ukiwa kwa Senkia hapo hivyo natupata but I do remember eh, ukiwa area za Mombasa ni salabo 98.7 manze Nyeri 98.8 eh, Meru 107.1 of course Kanairo 104.5 bigger everybody wanna stream live from USA eh, wale wako UAE manze wale watu kwa the land down under Australia kina DJ Kev yeah. Pata pata kwa sana manzi. Walai, tuna, walai. Tuna lombo tov. Tuna lombo tov. Mm. Now, tujiamini maze, sports pesa wanataka tujiamini. Mm-hmm. Bro, sports pesa imekuwa kwa game, supporting mm-hmm. and growing talent and uh, local sports in Kenya for the longest time ever. Wamekuwa ki support teams mm-hmm. kama uh, the National Rugby Sevens team, Shuja maze, Gormaya, also a Gor, the Green Army, Muranga, CLFC, among many other grassroots teams. Now, sports pesa wana affirm their commitment to both grow the sports and talent in developing the creative economy true we are get sports mm-hmm. now now uh, we may decide to launch, to launch initiative many bamba sana netwa the tujiamini initiative which is a revolutionary uh, sports and talent initiative by sports pesa in partnership with, with the dba africa mm. now this initiative in a seek to identify we na fala vitu tatu to identify mm-hmm. explore mm-hmm. and empower mm-hmm. kevin ngapi hizo tatu hey. uh, identify hey. explore hey. And, and empower kwanza hapo pa ku empower uda lazima watu watengane si we have to grow sit to explore what are you to project the talent man watu wambie tu na yo guys tunaenda nini tunajua hapo kina nani wamepenya exactly man so like i said wanajaribu kufanya vitu tatu identify explore and empower for set akujaribu this is what they're doing right now the sporting ecosystem with the belief that in is a turn dreams into reality uh, from the grassroots level to the world stage empowerment is very key personally nimewaambia for the longest time ever that sports builds character i am a huge believer in sports and the arts for young kenyans out there so we'll be talking about e formers e initiative kali sana tujiamini initiative and actually how you and your friends can benefit from it yeah so stick around for that vibe it's all courtesy of sport pesa now victor odiambo yes sir kuna staff line up as we wrap up the conversation uh, the housing levy now the president ali fanele something maze uh, ali signed ali signed he has sent the bill, <laughs> the bill. This, yeah man and you know 
one thing that really got me going on first of all okay if you guys don't know what we're talking about the president of kenya on tuesday 19th of march assented to law the affordable housing levy act now this act it pertains to individuals in both the formal and informal sector initially could connect the story discrimination at your to a formal sector and well now we're talking about uh informal sector i.e employees and independent contractors and requires employers to remit contributions on behalf of employees and account for the levy beginning march 24 payroll near to major maboyote now this tax highlights key changes incorporated into the new act now my question is very very simple to you victor yeah ik to sasa sini ani ni law say ni law apparently like lazimu hiyo pesi toke eh yeah lakini watu wanauliza ukiangalia which mechanism will the president use to collect money from unemployed kenyans am i if i can put it in a different way kenyans from the informal sector yeah now it was it a question of just making this thing uh i don't know legal ama do kenyans truly want other houses what want attack affordable housing people want to live in dignity you know uh, is it a case of the president just doing his plan his manifesto for us ama there's a need for houses and this is a step in the right direction there's a need for houses it's it's quite obvious nairobi there's a need for houses especially in nairobi but uh, i think it's ill informed because uh, most kenyans want to feel ni kama wakupoa hiyo time to participate kwa kitu mmoja watu ongelea public participation lakini wa kenya wengi wenye wanafaa waelewe mambo public participation they don't normally participate unapata ni a few individuals wale elite kidogo wamechaguliwa wana make vitu zao zina zina was no benefit wao wenyewe uh-huh. and then wana 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 move so huko mbele but wa Kenya huko huko pale opportunity as much as the government say they give us an, an opportunity so i don't mm. think they were given opportunity another thing kitu mmoja na forjua na Nairobi Nairobi fai kuwa home ya kila mtu mm. Nairobi is not supposed to be home Nairobi was supposed to come up with an affordable housing whereby unjua size mtu anaenda mtu anaenda huko na jenga nyumba to bedroom yeah. choi na tuta na sijui aja anakuambia ni 25k yeah. 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 and lazima yeah. ulipe Yeah. because you want after how mm. what the government should have done is very simple wajenge hao zikwe mingi unaona the demand the supply kwa more than the demand oh. so that to sikuwa na like like rent to, to own let make it affordable mm. because sisi tuko na places tumetoka tunaweza rudi huko unaelewa in fact we need to rudi huko eh tuko na routes zetu nairobi na i feel kwa do nairobi ni watu wengi wanapita ni hassle mm. nairobi a few years ago we had maybe close to maybe 1% sasa tunaongelea around 4 million mm. sakaja the other day amesema in 2050 tunaongelea around let's say like at 50 million people in nairobi alafu anasema tunajenga kwenda juu hakuna enough land now imagine everybody owns these homes what happens tunafaa tujenge nyumba mingi flood the market so that ule mtu mwenye kuumwa anasema nyumba yake hiyo nyumba yake ndogo 25k ajue kuna nyumba ingine karioko yenye na cost 10k the same same standard so that aweze kupunguza rent kila mtu aanze kuishi vizuri because we can afford these houses unaelewa lakini tusiambue ati lazima tu own imagine people owning houses in nairobi itafika point manzi akutakuwa na hata police atakuwa na na hiyo opportunity mm-hmm. acha narubi kwa mali watu wanapita na na Victor mm-hmm. okay. mm-hmm. na Victor ukiangalia history kama history ya shule eh bila unapata reveal schools that no one wants eh unapata kama kuna history kwa natsoma unapata shule kama kileleshwa mm-hmm. inafaa kuwa na lana 2000 kileleshwa gani shule gani kile shule kileleshwa primary school okay eh yeah. inafaa kuwa na watu 2000 yeah. lana lakini kuna so mbili what do you attend what get, and same thing goes manze what? okay to ah ndio hadi na shanga manzi unapata ki wana okay so primary example, ni public ama private ni, ni, public. ni public. So public one the public yeah. 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 apparently all, all mm. places mob sana za dosi mm. is uko na public school kama moja kama eh, na ki public eh. now hakuna hakuna watu attend because unapata <laughs> unapata watu wengi ni wadosi wako wadosi wako huko wanaenda wadosi wao de kwenda public school hiyo unapata hadi kilimani pia same speed yes, unapokuambia kilimani primary eh inafaa kuna enrollment rate za utatu na iko na watu iko na watu kama watu exactly mm. afu anakuambiaje e, kuna shule kama ndurarua primary school mm. na then iko ngwaro yeah. iko eh kama ngwaro iko ngwaro yeah. iko na watu 1000 sita mm. eh wallahi <laughs> unashika 1000 so, baso sita eh, ta- 6000 yeah true Sixth house that's like a university problem na hii problem yetu pia hata tukiangalia mambo yetu ya siasa vile tunapelekana tuachie viko vibe the real issues the real issues i think this one is one of the biggest issues that of our government na kuinaangalia una get cause ukiangalia kama hii ni kiangalia na feel eh ni mabasi 
mm-hmm. transportation mm-hmm. ndio inakuwa ni issue inakuwa ni issue big sana ndio but then ukiangalia hata hata ukisema basi ukisema transportation mm-hmm. angalia angalia hiyo locality hao ni pesa ngapi mm-hmm utapata the cheapest one bedroom hapo ni kitu kama 30k mm-hmm. the cheapest one bedroom mm-hmm. ni kama 30k kileleshwa mm-hmm. unaona hata mm-hmm. kama kuna public school nani atatoa mtoto wake humo amlete kileleshwa primary school mm-hmm. it would happen so unaona kuna certain resources zenye ziko places zenye tufanyaje hapo gava ifanyaje there is nothing as an expert you been there there is nothing like much that the, the, that the government is supposed to can do mm-hmm. in, in 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 that kind of a situation mm-hmm. than making education universal that everybody can have access to, to education properly like they they make sure that there is enough infrastructure malizo vitu ziko because at least mtu amesha kilimani prema to play kwa moja prem to play kwa moja lakini kuna shule moja yenye tunaweza to expand waje ya affordable housing waje ya affordable housing Victor got to let you go bro mm-hmm. it make a real sana unfortunately Asante. we don't have time Asante sana Victor Odiambo so in case of any maybe partnerships if we come further conversations unajua Kenya stands out that squeeze uh, tunapenda kuongea sana You know so maybe somebody w- would like to meet up with you mm-hmm. you know reach out for anything maybe a project what on kupata wapi social uh, media for example uh really uh, no, okay i'm not really big on social media for, for, for specific for specific <laughs> reasons <laughs> now what's the reason now surely because it's 2024 man bro <laughs> it's okay it's okay you know be <laughs> for specific reasons mm. uh but uh, i'm always around people know me like uh, mm. many mm. to move on projects move sana bado na watu especially when it comes to kids especially disabled children oh. na jaribu to make sure that in my IT is not only that an IT that i need to be with the systems mm. i deal with a lot of disabled children oh, and nice. i'm trying to do lots projects where by uh, mm-hmm. even if a, a child is, is disabled mm-hmm. and they are, remember these children most of the time wana ficho kwa nyumba mm-hmm. unaona because mm-hmm. mtu anarela za mtu yangu akona shida fulani na tai kumtoa nje jua ibu na unapata for, for the poor mothers wenye wako pale nje hawezi wakapeleka mtu nje mm-hmm. hawezi enda kutafuta job sana hawako na mtu hii so wewe leo wangi kwa nini mother na hawako na mtu hii because always in pair job job kuna mtu disabled ah, na yeah. so i do projects where by na jaribu as much as possible mm-hmm. ni people who come from privileged families especially kids who want interact with other kids who don't come from from privileged families mm-hmm. so that one realize that we are just the same mm-hmm. things happen and i manage it because nimezelewa nikiwa disabled nitaka hivyo mm-hmm. so i'm trying to come up with a system where by uh, tunaweza uh, as mtu mwenye ametoka under privilege anaweza login mm-hmm. anaweza chagua mtu mwenye ametoka mtu ametoka privilege anaweza login kwa system achague mtu anatoka under privilege privilege a mentor oh, that's nice i walk mm-hmm. na head through that journey hata kama ni disabled mm-hmm. anaweza enda kwa na visit na muona wana have an interaction wana kwa mabest yeah. unapata mtu wako breba na anaweza login na muone that breba this is what we do mm-hmm. but in in kayole this is so what we do mm-hmm. so you extend the culture so that mtana realize even mindset yake na change and realize eh sure like some so you give banana to runo prima you know what i mean hey. so if yeah, someone yeah. wants to work with you maybe uh, support you in your, in your amazing initiative mm-hmm. mtu anaweza kupata wapi Um, on for that specific project <laughs> Steve your visa come sure i have an organization called Benfab ah there you go there you go yeah okay. it's it's called Benfab uh, Benfab how do you spell Benfab Benfab B E N F A B ah Benfab uh, it's actually Babadogo ah, nice, so nice, i run nice, projects nice. with that organization i have a partner there ah uh, yeah so basically that's uh, really what i do i have a company called digital step okay. uh, it's an it company ict solutions mm. where i offer different ict solutions uh, anything mm. to do with it so so yes. thanks a lot for the, the the amazing young kenyan out there changing lives and of course pia and to chanua maze making Banana. us look at this policy conversation from different angles mm. hopefully we can ha- we can influence mm. policy making decisions uh, from the government side your local energy provider Otada the beast and of course man and a bad man at the building what you mean Yeah, why well, you make us mm. to Kirudi, it's all about uh the Mjadala Koto public opinion topic time niko na ngome GI mm. going downtown chase a big one 23 minutes after 8 twende kazi this is the modern vibes on vibes radio